here we are in the CloudWatch log group section. My VPC flow logs are called as flow logs here. And I also set up an elastic search cluster. And here is my search cluster domain. I'm calling it my flow logs log domain, as you can see here. So what we are going to do is we are going to feed our flow logs log group into this domain. So select the one that you're interested in, go and actions and you will find the option to stream to elastic search cluster then it gives you two options which account do you want to do it i want to do it in the same account so i'm just going to choose my cluster name here and click on the options and it gives me an interesting field saying lambda function so you don't have to worry about writing your lambda function amazon has you covered here they have written the pre written the lambda function you just need to tell amazon whether you want to use an existing iam role or you want to use a new iam role so let us go ahead and do that. So all you have to do is just go ahead and click on create IAM role. And it is going to take me to a new page where it will populate all the fields that are necessary. And all we have to do is click on allow. And it will automatically populate my previous page where we are doing the things and click on next. So here we need to choose the log format and there are pre-written log formats and the one that we are interested in is in VPC flow logs. And if you want to test whether the log format that you've chosen is working, it automatically fills in the values. Let us go ahead and click on test pattern and you can find here there are 50 matches and from 50 entries. So that means that our log pattern that we have chosen works very well. Let us go ahead and click next and it summarizes all the fields that we have chosen so far. Click next and it should give us the take us back to the page where we started our log configuration to push it into Elasticsearch. So start streaming. So here you see here your subscription has been created successfully. So that's all we have to do here. If I go to my Elasticsearch domain now and I have personally given privileges for my laptop to access the Kibana through a public domain. So probably in your production environment, you will put it into a NAT instance and access them. So for my case, I can access it directly from my the URL because I have given privileges there. So the first thing that you need to do here is go ahead and set up your indexes. So because this is a new installation, there are no indexes. So if I go to management and go ahead and click on index pattern. So I might not know what is the index pattern. So typically what happens is when you use a default configuration, the index pattern is something like CWL hyphen, and then it allows you to do regular expression. So you can give a star. So each day it creates a new sharding. That is each data for each day is show, uh, stored on a separate uh, um, table or index. And so that you can look at each indexes very effectively. So just go ahead and click on next step. And we have a timestamp field in our uh, flow logs. So let us go ahead and choose our timestamp field as well and click on index pattern. So we are done with the most basic configurations and you can see here it looks at the logs and gives me all these 35 different fields are available. For example, the timestamp and then if I go down here, I have destination port, destination address, what are the number of bytes, what is my account ID, whether the action taken and whether the action was a accept action or a reject action. If I go to the next page, I also see the source port and then the source address, what was the protocol, whether it's HTTP, HTTPS, and all the different fields are there, and I can create a chart based on that. So how do I go ahead and see the charts? Let us quickly see what Discover is going to give me now. So as of now, there is nothing there, so that is why uh, there is not much data that is happening in my index, and you can see here there are zero hits. So let's just go ahead and generate some traffic. I'm just going to put a web server and then hit some IP addresses here. I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can uh, refresh the page again. Let me go ahead and see if Discover is picking up some values. Yep, you can see here some uh, traffic is there and it has picked up the values. So how do we create the nice visualization we see uh, in the initial pages? So for that, let us go to visualize and I want to do a visualization for accept and reject traffic. Uh, there's already one that I was uh, setting it up earlier. Let us go ahead and set up a new one. So just click on the plus icon there and then we are going to set up a new chart which is called as a uh, which is going to be a pie chart so let us select that and what type of index we are using for that so let us select the index cwl hyphen and you see here it automatically creates a, a chart with the default values which is not much useful for us so let us go ahead and create a splices so that we can split the pie chart into accept traffic as well as and reject traffic so under the bucket splices under aggregation I want to do it by the terms and let's so let us go ahead and select that and 
under which field I want to select it. So there is a field called as action keyword if you remember. So we are going to select that one and this action keyword has two uh, categories. One is accept and one is reject. So I'm just going to select the two categories as here, num change the number as two and I'm just going to change here as accept hyphen reject. So once you do all these things, we need to publish our changes. So apply the changes and automatically you see here the chat changes from accept and reject. You can see here um, that I have about uh, for 90 percentage of uh, traffic accepted and I have about 10 percentage of traffic that has been rejected. So that is one way you can quickly create a visualization for accept and reject traffic. Let us say I want to overlap this information with at what port uh, my traffic was accepted and what port my traffic was rejected. We can add one more slice on top of this one. So let us go ahead and say add buckets and then go ahead and split size splices and then I'm going to say again terms and then I'm going to choose for the field as a, a destination port. It must be here. Yeah, there we go. And then leave the rest of the fields as it is. Let us look at the top five ports that uh, we are interested in. Let us say I'm just going to call this as destination ports. And then click on apply settings. So you, you can see here quickly under the accept category, I have ports 443 being accepted 89% of the times and then some port 80 settings are also there. So let us remove this filter for accept. And if I go to my reject category, I have a good amount of uh, requests that was rejected at port 80. Probably it was not behind the firewall or that requested IP address was not there or it could be any of those reasons. And you can see here some high ports were also rejected. So that is how you create an visualization for accept and reject traffic. And in case you want to save this so that you can give your customers this nice visualization or come back to it again in the future and do it, you can go ahead and save it. I'm just going to say action, accept, reject, something like that. So we have saved a visualization. So now let us see how we can create a line chart of say how many requests was there on a given point in time because it's a time series data. I would like to have a line chart rather than a pie chart. So let us go ahead and see how to do that now. What was the request during a, a morning period of the time or what is the number of requests that is happening at the later time of the day. So let's go ahead and do a line chart. Click on new visualization, click on line and then choose your index. And here I'm going to leave the Y axis as it is as count that is number of requests that was happening. And for X axis, I'm just going to say split series. And here I'm just going to say date histogram. And let us go ahead and apply that. And we should be getting, um, I mean, because there is only data for only one day. Let us go ahead and change the interval. My apologies there, instead of uh, doing it in uh, X axis, I made it into a split series. Actually, we should be doing it in the X axis here and ju just going ahead and choosing date histogram and leave other things as it is. I'm just going to say request count and then let us go ahead and apply our settings. So there you go, you see here there was a request that is happening and spiking every now and then. You see here these curves are not looking really nice and smooth. If you want to smoothen the curves, you can do that as well. If you go to metrics and as axis, and then if you go to line mode and you can say smooth and then apply the change, you can see here you, we have smoothed out the change a little bit so that the graph looks nice and clean now. Again, you can split this uh, line as well into an accept and reject traffic. Now we can apply the bucket splices. Let us go ahead and do that. So under split series, let us go ahead and say I want to look at the terms, especially the terms which has the action field and action, the keyword field. And we know that there are going to be two different types of actions. Let us go ahead and change that. So I'm just going to say accept and reject here. And let us apply the setting now. So you can see here there was some amount of traffic that was accepted and some amount of traffic that was rejected throughout the time period that we are visualizing here. So once again, if you want to save this visualization, I can say, go ahead and say request count and save it. So if you want to come back to these two visualizations or give them in a single dashboard for somebody or look at them more easier way, you can go ahead and create your own dashboards here. So all you have to do is go to your dashboards, click on the new dashboard icon, click on add. The two visualizations that we just now created will be available here. Let us go ahead and select them 
and you can see here they are placed uh, next to each other let me just use this option to close that one so if you want to apply the same filter on both the cases you don't have to do anything I want to see what is the accept traffic that is happening in my account what is the web server is doing on a typical day and how much traffic is being accepted all you have to do is just come here click on this one automatically that filter will apply on the right hand side chat as well and you can focus only on the accept traffic right now so if you want to look at and investigate why there are certain traffic is being rejected on why which port number is being rejected you can focus here e easily and here also you can save the visualization and come back to it anytime so this is how you typically analyze your VPC flow logs using Elasticsearch cluster and Kibana visualization. I hope this is helpful to troubleshoot your real world scenarios and you can bring your environment at a good health. If you have any troubles in putting setting this up, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching.